this session we will see if uh, the Postgre uh, releases the space when a user related database is dropped. So in short, when you drop a database, is Postgre going to release the storage at the operating system or not? So as usual, we will go through the steps which are mentioned in the document. So the, the question for today is, does PostgreSQL release a space when the database is, uh, is dropped? So to destroy or drop a database, you should have the uh, drop database privilege. Either the owner of the database can do it or the super user who is uh, having uh, such uh, super privileges, he should be able to do it. So to drop the database, it is very, very simple. You just log into PSQL. Uh, I'll quickly log in. PSQL just uh, list down the databases and whatever database you wanted to drop uh, let's say I wanted to drop uh, test DB I can do it drop uh, database and the database name the uh, the important part of this is uh, not how do we drop it how uh, easy it is to drop uh, like some of the important things if the uh, user application is already connected and if you are connected to the test db like this one you would not be able to uh, drop the database let's say this is the last database in your uh, uh, in your postgresql in that case better you get connected to some of the template database which is available and uh, you should drop the last uh, user database Database. The command will be either you use the drop database database name or you can use the drop DB uh, at the operating system which is available. The important fact about this is uh, uh, in some of the cases it has been seen the database size uh, is, is has gone uh, beyond our imagination because of the fragmentation and because of the uh, the number of tuples which get uh, increased in your table so basically the table size goes uh, beyond uh, beyond imagination the number of rows which it are uh, which is actually is there is is uh, and the size they are not corresponding to each other that means there are some uh, uh, some unused space which cannot be used but they are actually occupying the space because of the uh, dead tuples and uh, to best of our uh, vacuum auto vacuum services which is uh, launched on the regular basis somehow we were not able to reclaim the storage and uh, the last thing which we thought like why don't we uh, drop uh, the entire cluster with the content and rebuild it from uh, from beginning so what we need to do is i'll basically go through it we will take a pg underscore back uh, dump all backup of the postgresql databases and uh, in case uh, you have uh, uh, since we are doing everything on the same uh, operating system I'm not going to zip it in case you wanted to do it on other server better you go for the uh, uh, zip uh, uh, compress it so that you can save some storage but when you zip it with the uh, maximum uh, number that means it is going to exhaust all the CPU and IO subsystem on your system so what I'm going to do is I'll show you what we have at this point of time. I'm running everything on an EC2 instance and I have post grade 12 running and you can see this is my post master and uh, these are the different uh, background processes available over here and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to take a backup. This is the location. This is the default location where backup is residing. So let me go here and remove some of this stuff. So I'll say rm minus rf star dot zip. Okay. So what I will do now is I'll, I'll just take a compressed, uh, uncompressed backup using pg dump all because we are going to uh, remove everything and we are going to rebuild uh, so as to re uh, release the storage at the operating system though it is not being uh, visible over here uh, because the database size uh, which is there in the postgre as of now it is dvd rental uh, uh, so let me show you psql slash l plus you will be able to see there are some dvd rental databases which are 15 mb in size we are going to drop everything and we will see uh, how to rebuild it from the beginning using the backup and restore feature 
So the second thing which we are going to do is perform the backup of PostgreSQL configuration file. So we'll just say show config underscore uh, file or show data underscore directory. So what we will do over here is there are n number of configuration files available over here. So if you just say ls hyphen ltr star dot conf, you will be able to see at least uh, five files should be visible. Uh, it is ident hba postgresql dot auto dot conf and postgresql dot conf. So we are going to take a backup. How we are going to take a backup using the cp command? We are going to take a backup of uh, all of these in your uh, backup directory where you wanted to uh, create a fresh backup for everything which we are going to destroy. So we have taken a backup of all the configuration file. And the next thing which we'll be doing is uh, uh, there are a lot of information which you can see uh, using these commands. You can uh, see uh, show all or table uh, pg underscore file underscore settings that will show you all the details in case you wanted to see. You can see the different uh, options in your postgresql.conf in case uh, uh, in, in case you have to modify some of the parameters since you are going to restore it. Uh, from the backup which which you have just taken and what we will do now is we are going to uh, stop the cluster so one of the thing which you should uh, be doing is uh, you should create a profile for PostgreSQL uh, so that in case uh, if it is not able to export the binary location uh, it should automatically do when you export the profile so I have exported the location of bin location of Postgre where all my installed uh, binaries are available. Now what we will do is we will uh, go ahead and uh, check uh, if the OS processes is running. Yes, it should be running as of now. What we will do is, okay, I'll put a couple more commands over here. Uh, we'll check the status then stop then check the status again to avoid any kind of inconsistency let me save this now we will go ahead and check the status using pg underscore ctl hyphen d location of the data directory and then the status so status is running let us stop it then we will check the status again it is stopped now let us check the status again and check uh, because uh, it is stopped so nothing should be running and at the operating system also the background processes should go off the next thing which we will do is uh, we'll go to the data directory lo location where all my data directory files are available you can see there are a number of data files and uh, what we need to do is since we have already uh, stop the cluster we are going to remove all the files from here we removed all the files now what we will do just say ls hyphen ltr just to check if everything is removed or not since there is no error so there should not be any problem ls hyphen ltr everything is done now what we will do is again check uh, the uh, location of your bin so bin is here in slash usr pg sql hyphen bin so for 13 it will be something else for 11 this will be something else for 10 this will be uh, something else so what i'm going to do i'm i'm going to initialize my data directory because i have deleted everything so all the uh, directories subdirectories which are required to build your postgresql they will be initialized over here okay you can see that it has been initialized and if you go to this location because we are in the same location just say ls and you will be able to see all the files are reconstructed or reinstalled now what we will do is we will restore all the configuration files that has been picked up prior to the deletion of the cluster because uh, by default these are the default configuration files and we might have made a number of changes in your postgresql.conf or in your uh, in your pg underscore hba.conf so just go ahead and restore it from the settings or uh, from the backup which you had taken okay this is wrong okay this is restored 
you can cross verify every time you do such things because if they're not properly copied uh, it might create a problem next thing which we will do is so we will since the cluster is in the stopped status you will go ahead and start it just say ps ux you'll see everything is stopped just check the status it is not running start and then check the status it has been started check the status it is running you can see the background process is also running successfully now if you have uh, compressed your backup and transfer to some other uh, server you have to uncompress it so that you can utilize it since we have not done it we are uh, simply going and restoring it using psql so restore the backup of postgresql using so new pages will be written and there will not be any um, any um, what do you say the extra space between the rows in the in the form of dead tuples which has been removed or uh, uh, deleted It is restored all the databases they have been restored now the next thing which we will do is uh, we can check if everything is fine or not psql slash l plus this will show you so what happens is in this case when you have restored it again it is entirely a new cluster which has been rebuilt and it it surely releases your storage what you should have done earlier is you could have uh, checked uh, what is the uh, size of the files uh, which are occupying if you go to uh, this location where my actual files reside for the databases cd uh, pg data in in base location and if you say lswc hyphen l this will show you there are eight folders over here and if you see over here one two three four five six seven eight they are eight over here that means and if you wanted to see the individual file uh, what do you say the uh, the sizes you can see it once you have uh, before deletion and after deletion you should be able to see the uh, the difference since our database size is very very less which is just 15 MB at the database level uh, the operating system level that would be lesser but when you do such activity this is going to release the storage and one of the other thing if uh, you have uh, fired the delete command or if you have removed and still it is not if you have fired the drop command and still if it has not uh, released any storage what you need to do is uh, you can uh, uh, there might be a uh, possibility like uh, archiving has been enabled on your database this is just just uh, some of the thing which may be uh, may be possible if your archive mode is enabled and if you have mentioned some other location non default location or what I will say the archiving location and if you have not removed the archive from there it may be possible like those uh, it is uh, getting uh, stored over there and uh, you have to manually delete if it is not already deleted so this may be uh, one of the case after deletion of the database also this might not have been removed from a non-default location if it is so you have to verify uh, or before uh, deletion also you can check what are the uh, different locations where it is keeping the archives if you have enabled the archiving and when you rebuild it using the pg dump all backup and restore uh, it, it is going to release the storage and sometimes it also happens like when you have executed such a script uh, for the deletion at the operating system it might be deleting slowly depending upon the size of the database and you have to check what are the different activities which are happening inside the database if you say simply select star from pitch underscore stat underscore activity this is going to show you the query and if the uh, the database which you have uh, deleted or going to delete if there you are facing any problem you will be able to see the details from here select star from pg underscore stat underscore activity this gives you uh, good information 
and if if the deletion is already in progress you should be able to see it using lsof grab deleted so this will show if uh, if there are any open file descriptors which are still in progress in some of the cases you might have to to reboot uh, your uh, operating system in the worst case scenario not very usual but sometimes this has been seen to to release the storage because the file descriptor might have been uh, in in used space in uh, used state i hope uh, this is going to help and uh, mostly uh, it's a very simple and straightforward stuff drop the database it is going to release the storage if it is not that means you have to uh, make sure your auto vacuum process whether it is releasing the storage uh, back to the table or as applicable in vacuum full it is uh, giving the storage back to the operating system and this one uh, this has been done in the lab environment you can check it out and this is going to help you i hope uh, this is going to help and uh, thank you